Hi, I'm Wanda from Melinda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make these fabric gift bags. Now they're super quick and super easy, so let's get on and show you how to do it. So what you need is a piece of fabric that measures 14 inches by 11 inches and I have my piece already cut down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it so that the wrong side is facing up towards me and I'm going to draw a half inch line on the long edge. So on the 14 inch long side I'm going to line my ruler up along the edge of that and I'm going to draw a half inch line. Now I'm using my Creative Goods ruler here and these are great because when you press on them they don't move. I'll just draw that line. Now what I'll do next is I'm going to turn this edge in to that line and just give it a press. So that'll give me a quarter inch edge all along there. So you can see there I have my folded edge neatly pressed. Um, so that's a quarter of an inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to lay it along the edge there, along that folded edge, at three and a half inches. Alright, so that's all lined up. You can see my three and a half inch mark there. And that goes all the way along. So what I'm going to do next is just draw a line right across the fabric. Okay, now what I want to do next is draw a three quarters of an inch line next to that line. So I'm going to lay the three quarters of an inch markings on my ruler along the line that I've just drawn and I'm going to draw another line. Okay, so once you've got your lines drawn the next step is to take your fabric and just lay it with right sides together and just line everything up nicely. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew from here a quarter of an inch seam and we're going to sew up to that first line and do a little back stitch. We're going to jump, start off with a back stitch and we're going to go right to the edge and finish off and you can back stitch at the edge as well. So just make sure that you leave this gap in the middle because that's where our ribbon's going to go eventually. So as you can see, I've sewn my quarter inch seam all the way along here. I've come up to this line and I've backstitched. Then I've jumped and I've come to this line, backstitched, sewn to the end and I did a backstitch at the end as well. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just sort of fold this in half a bit because we just want the seam to be flat. So you can just finger press it open if you wish, but I'm actually going to go and press it down with the iron. So you just open the seam, press it all the way along. Okay, so you can see I've pressed the seam open and we got our hole there, so you can see that, poke my finger through. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this top piece over. Now we want to cover the hole, but we want to make sure that we cover this line as well. Now it's generally around, probably around an inch and three quarters, but don't stress about it. The idea is to make sure that that hole is covered by this material, but that you also cover that line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over, so just to give you a rough idea of what I'm going to be doing, and I will neaten this up properly before I start sewing, of course. Okay, so as you can see, cover the line. Now, you can see here, I've got the material folded over. Now on this side, I just check, and yes, it's covered by that back piece of material, and I can feel that when I sew that material down, it's not going to cover the hole. We don't want to stitch over this this hole when we when we attach this piece of fold over the material. Um, and also, we're going to be do doing another line and we want to make sure that we've got some material here at the top that will call, form our ruffle. So we don't want the hole to be too near the top. Okay, so I'll straighten this all up and then I'll take it to the machine. So I've removed the flatbed attachment from the machine and I've slipped my fabric over the arm and now I'm going to sew with an eighth of an inch seam. So I'll just do that now. slip it off and I'm just going to do exactly the same around the top so I just put it back on the machine 
and I'm going to sew again with an eighth of an inch from the top. So I've sewn my two lines, one along the top and one along our three and a half inch line. So now I'm just going to turn the bag through. Now turn it through. Now you can see here that we have our gap and what we're going to do now is we're going to draw another line uh, because we want to sew another seam that will hold our ribbon in place. So I'm just going to find the top of the gap there and it may be different on yours so just measure it to see what it is and I'm having a look at mine and mine is seven eighths of an inch so I'm going to just line the edge of my bag up along the seven, and seven eighths of an inch line there and I'm going to draw a line. I'll turn the bag over and again measure seven, seven eighths of an inch from the top. Now as I say yours may measure differently depending on how big the gap is that you have so it's best just to measure it before you draw your line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm going to slip that onto the arm of my machine and I'm just going to sew all the way around so that that gives us a nice place to put our ribbon. So I've sewn the third seam along of the third line and you can see we've got our gap here for our ribbon. Now what we need to do is turn this through and we have two options now. If you want the ribbon to be on the side of your bag, like I have over here, this is on the side, what you need to do is simply lay the piece down and just sew with your seam flat and just sew along the bottom here. Now I've decided I might want, I want my ribbon in the middle for this one, so I'm going to find the middle of the bag and I'm going to place the seam line so that it runs along the middle and then I'll sew along here. And that means that, that the ribbon will tie in the middle of the bag, but I'll show you that when we get to that point. Okay, so I've sewn along the bottom with a quarter inch seam and I've backstitched at each end. And now it's time to turn the bag through and we're going to add some ribbon. Now there are all sorts of fancy doodads you can get for threading ribbon through a bag but I'm just using a safety pin and as you can see I've just popped it through the edge of the ribbon and then I'm going to pop it into here through one side of the gap and just thread it through. Alright, when I get to the other end let's bring the safety pin through. I don't know. I can remove the pin now. Now you can bring it through as far as you want, how long you want your tails, and you just gather up your bag to where you want it. Okay, so that looks about right. And then tie it off. And there you go, you can just make it as long as you wish. And that's when you have the bow in the middle. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Now don't forget you can catch us on Instagram, Facebook, um, oh, Twitter and Pinterest and also if you'd like the written instructions they're over on the website at landercraft.com and all the links will be in the description below.